Hello, everyone, and welcome to our general English lesson. Today, I would like to talk about a very useful component when writing your essays, which can come quite handy when comparing appropriate vocabulary. I will be talking about concordances. Has anyone heard about this before? Who can tell me what concordances are? The use of concordance helps mostly when looking for the different entries or meanings of a word. A concordance is actually a website to access a set of written or spoken language. And this set of written or spoken language is called a corpus. Let us take as an example the word handsome. We all know that handsome refers to a male who is good looking. But are there other meanings besides this one? Let us first go to this website. What we will do next is to type our keyword handsome. Once we do that, we will obtain a list of the concordance lines as you can see here. Amazing, isn't it? Do you find other meanings of handsome as good looking? The answer is yes. Wow! Now, after you scrutinize the concordance, you can find three basic meanings of handsome. The first one is what everyone knows as good looking, such as handsome man. A second meaning will refer to something that is quite large in size, such as a handsome profit, sum, or price. A third category of meanings will refer to something that is well or skillfully made, such as a building, a house, a dress, a car, and so on. As you can see, the concordance not only helps us understand the meanings of certain words, but also tell us how frequent these words occur in concordance with or in relation to other words. This can definitely facilitate the process of vocabulary building, and it will also be very effective when looking for the most suitable categories to add following a particular lexical item. As a conclusion for today's short lesson, let us try to wrap up this unit by pondering over the following questions. First one, what does handsome in the meaning of good looking usually refer to? Second, what does handsome in the meaning of quite large usually refer to? Third, what does handsome in the meaning of well met usually refer to? Think about these questions and we will discuss them together next time. In addition, our homework for this unit is to write a short story using the word handsome. Two times for each of its three meanings, total of six. Feel free to use it more than six times if you want to. Write a story in the past tense and give it a title. The word handsome should occur in the title as well. Before you start working on your story, read the sentences below for a quick revision of the main past tense. Be careful to use them appropriately and accurately. For example, past simple, there once lived a handsome man who had a handsome house. Past continuous, one day, as he was cleaning the closet, he found a handsome sum of money in the pocket of an old coat. Past perfect, the man could not believe that he had completely forgotten about that money. Any questions I can answer? Please also remember to do the assignment which is posted on our course management system. 
which includes using the concordance tool to look for specific vocabulary entries. Thank you very much for your attention, and I look forward to our next class.